All right, uh, just gonna do a few helpful hints uh, in this video. All right, so uh, once you learn uh, how to do certain things, it's nice to be able to do them faster. All right, so working with Pythagoras, uh, I don't suggest A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You work symbolically. I think you work pictorially. So what is it all about? Let's put that three inside. So that means that this is nine units. 10 means that that's 100 units. And so this side has got to be 100 minus 991 units, which means that that length is the square root of 91. All right, the more times you draw the squares, the, the better you're gonna understand the Pythagorean theorem. And it's not, not a difficult concept to grasp, but uh, you, you can sharpen your understanding and your ability to, to do things quickly. So you can pause the video, you can try one right now. Let's see if that's uh, seven and this is uh, nine. Uh, you know, what is this? All right, pause the video, do it. All right, so you got 49, you got 81. 81 and 49 is uh, what? Uh, slow brain here, 130. And so this is the square root of 130. Okay, hopefully I didn't butcher that in any way, shape, or form. All right, what if you wanted to get a whole lot of points on the equation of a line? You wanted some data. Well, what's the quickest way to get it? Well, you find any true point, that's the point slope form, so you've got minus eight yeah, and the seven, those are coordinates, that uh, those are um, numbers that work together nicely there, produce zero equals zero. Where do you go from there? Well, you use the information given, change in x is three. So minus five, minus two, one, four, seven, could do that forever, right? And then change in y, five, three, one, negative one, negative three, negative five. Okay, lots of data uh, quickly gotten. All right, typical question in number one, write the equation line perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 8. Good way to show perpendicular is to just do some quick drawing. So that's over 2, up 1. There's your line perpendicular, something like this. And you can see that you're going over 1. A 1 marker, let me do it. 1, and then. Yeah, it's a pretty good drawing, down two. So you can see the negative reciprocal relationship. Once you learn that, you understand it, then the shortcut is write the equation of line perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 8 through this and that. So we want to put this in. We put this in, it's gone, we get that. What's the slope? It's given, it's minus 2 fifths. It's right there. Now you can take the long route, and prove to yourself that that's a shortcut. All right. And so if you see the perpendicular, then you know the original slope's five halves, right? Negative reciprocal. So just some quick things to see. Pretty standard question here. What's the equation that has, uh, what quadratic equation has five plus or minus three i? Do those in your head with a little practice, but let's show you the process here. A, a little alternative process that I think is richer than the writing it as a product of factors, of, you know, as a product. So we're trying to get to ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We're trying to get to that. So let's make a zero on the right side. So you're going to move this over. x minus 5 equals plus or minus 3i. You're going to create a quadratic. So you're going to square. You're going to square. And that gets you to x squared minus 10x plus 25. Oh, didn't write a very good plus sign there. Plus 25. Try to. I, gotta, I think probably should write a little larger here. Hoping that these videos can be seen. All right. So 9i squared, which is equal to negative 9. So you bring the negative 9 over, and you got your x squared minus 10x plus 34. Well, if you keep an eye on the process, all right, we can see that that started with a positive. It's a negative. All right, so let's, let's change one here. You can pause the video, and I'll just write the correct answer. So let's see if we got 4 plus or minus uh, 4 plus or minus uh, not, nothing very large here, 5i. All right. So what's going to be the shortcut? Okay, pause, back again. All right, so zero is equal. We know we got x squared. We know it's going to be the opposite of that and twice the size. And if we square that 16 and 25, uh, 16 and 25, 41. All right, it doesn't hurt to have students prove that to themselves. So uh, zero is equal to what? x minus 4 squared uh, minus 16 plus 41 which gets us uh, x minus four, <laughs> five, x minus four squared, 
that's uh, positive 25, so it's negative 25 on this side. You can see where this is going. So you take the plus minus square root of that, which is the 5i, and bring the 4 over. And there you have it. So x is what you started with. All right? You got to be careful when you do um, a non-i situation because this i's get you a sign change. So um, we're not going to square these two numbers. Maybe I, hopefully I said that. Let me do another one over here just to make sure I explained that. I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done before I lose the classroom. Uh, so let's say that x is equal to uh, 7 plus or minus 3i. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. 0 equals x squared. Let's make it minus 7. So if that's minus 7, then it's going to be positive 14x. And now, squaring 7, 49. Squaring 3, 9, 49, and 9, 58. All right, there's the shortcut. Okay, you're, you're just adding up the squares of the numbers. Okay, proving it again, x plus 7 squared, minus 49 plus 58, gets us, um, and equals 0, gets us x plus 7 squared, minus 49 plus 58 is positive 9 equals 0. You can see it's going to be negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 3i minus 7. Trace us back to that. Over here, same process. So 0 equals x squared minus 14x. It's double that, right? Change the sign. But this is 49. When you square that, you get 3. But instead of adding them, you actually subtract because you know, the i, I is a sign changer. We don't have i. So instead of adding, we're subtracting. So plus 46. Just a shortcut. So you can start doing those in your head. Going to do a little differential equation, perhaps at the end, exponential differential equations. Uh, that you can do in your head as well. Might make a separate video for that, not sure yet. We'll see how time on the clock goes today. So, typical question, find the center and radius of a circle. Okay, the shortcut is, you know it's gonna be x minus three in the parentheses, so positive three is gonna be the x value with the center. Uh, you know you're gonna have y plus two squared, right? So, uh, negative two is gonna be the y value. And you know you're going to square these things, so you got 9 and 4 is 13, and 12 is 25, so you got a radius of 5. Okay? Long way around. x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus y plus 2 squared minus 4 equals 12. So what are you going to do? You're going to add 9 and add 4. There you go, 9 and 4. Boom. What are you going to do? You're going to look for what makes a 0? 3. What makes a 0? Negative 2. Square root of 25, 5. Okay, so you can start doing those in your head very quickly. Um, 5i to the 57. Uh, I don't think any students really remember i, i squared, i cubed, i to the fourth after a year or two. But if you can remember i squared is negative 1, which is the most important thing, is we want negative 1, so we make up a number that, that works. Um, I think you can work with that in a, in a richer way by always converting i to the 57 as i squared to what? Two goes into 57, uh, 26 times? No, 20, uh, boy, my brain just slowed down. 23 times? Yeah, yeah. two times 23. No, jeez, 28. Slow brain today, 40, 16. Yeah, so there's, I'm up to 56, I need one more. Okay, I think it's, I think this is a, a little richer experience because the students have to, Figure out each and every day, minus one times minus one times minus one. You know, anything to the even, a uh, uh, number of multiplications of negative one, one. So we can quickly look at that and go, okay, this is one times five is five times i is five i. All right, so let's do a couple more of those and just get a little practice in with that. Then you can start to do those more quickly, I think. So how about we do four i to the uh, 30. 4i to the 30th. Well, that's equal to 4i squared 15 times. So that one's odd. So we know we have negative 4. Okay, you can pause the video. I'm just going to do a bunch in a row, give you a little feeling of what I'm trying to do. Let's do uh, negative 3i to the 99th. Well, that's equal to negative 3i squared 
49 times times i. Well, that's an odd. So we've got negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3i. Okay, I'll do one more quick one. Uh, let's do uh, 5. Uh, oh, I was going to go to a different topic. 5i to the, to the 17th, maybe. All right, so we got 5i squared 8 times times i. So that's 5i. All right, see if you can do one in your head without writing. Let's go with um, 7i to the uh, 41st. What's it equal to? 7i? Let's find out. 7i squared 20 times gets me to 40. Oh, yeah, that is positive 1. So, yes, yeah, 7i. Okay? So, a little practice. You can do a bunch of those. Uh, simple conjugates are, are, are nice to do. With a shortcut or minus 3i, 5. So your answer is 20 uh, plus 15i over uh, 16 and 925. And then you got to divide the fives out. Okay, so where did that come from? You know the conjugate. You know the conjugate is 4 plus 3i. And that's going to be the denominator, right? And the numerator is going to get multiplied times that. So you got that in your head. Okay, so what do you got? You got your 20 plus 15i, middle terms cancel, so you got your 16 minus 9i squared, so you know that the 3 is going to get you know, positive 9, so 25. Okay, so you try one, I'll change the numbers, you pause the video, see if you can pick up a little shortcut, 8 over 3 minus 2i. Okay, unpause the video. Your answer is 8 times 3, 24. Change the sign. So that's 16i. Square the two numbers, 9 and 4, 13. Okay? Obviously, you do them out for a while, and then you, you look for patterns. Everything in math is patterns. And so if you're going to start to think mathematically, uh, <laughs> you want to look for patterns. Get in the habit of it. There's probably more I've got here than I've ever seen. Probably more that I haven't seen than I have seen. But uh, keep looking for patterns. Okay, was there another one I was going to do? Yeah, I was going to do some calculus shortcuts, but I think uh, we'll stop it there and keep this in the algebraic domain.